Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo of a project and this is Fashion Store and it's developed in Spring and Hibernate so let's talk about the technologies that we are using here so it's using MVC architecture and Spring MVC and Hibernate and to manage the backend we are using MySQL and uh, also it's using Maven so obviously we are using uh, Maven is a good for the dependency management so it's using Maven and it's deployed in the Tomcat 8.5 server so for so the technology it's using Spring, Hibernate and uh, uh, as a backend it's using MySQL and deployed in the Tomcat server it's using MVC architecture and uh, uh, MVC architecture and Maven tool for the configuration okay so let's run the code and understand the flow or uh, how the thing is working there so i'm going to choose my tomcat uh, 8.5 i'm going to click on finish and the project is on the browser now so this will be your home page so these are the categories section of the fashion store like you can see kids and men session and men fashion or the women so when user going to click on the men's <coughs> the all the product related to men category will display here Gonna click on the woman then all the product related to the woman category will display here <coughs> so this is the home preview or if you want if a user want to some uh, buy a product you can select the product and to buy the product you need to log in the application so let's understand the role of the application now like what kind of user logins are there so there is two users and the first one is let me check the user table okay so for the user table we have two roles the first one is the admin and the second one will be the customer so <clears throat> for the admin uh, the role id will be one will be always for the admin and other ids two or three years will be for the customer so uh, we'll talk about this later and uh, let's understand the functionality of the logins uh, of admin so what operation admin can perform there so i'm going to log in as an admin now so already i have the credential in my box so this is your login page and click on the sign in button it will again redirect me on the same page <coughs> so these are the category page so uh, you can see this is a home page of after admin going to login so what perform operation admin can perform there so admin if you want admin wants to add some category you can add the category in the application and that will be displayed to other users so let's add in a category uh, for the example so how can you get the category so i'm going to take an example of kit uh, like category like you can say it's uh, just i'm going to define the category demo and i'm going to choose an image so for example let's choose this image and you can choose this one as well it's looking nice and enter a description this is testing and then to click on the save so when you click on the save button as an admin it will display the response as a category edit successfully now you can check the list of category and you will find the k demo category here also you can perform the edit operation when you click on this button you will get the form and when uh, edit the operation but in case uh, if you're gonna edit you again need to upload the image there because we are using the redirect for the image uploading option so just choose the image again and you want to change the name or want to edit the name so i'm going to edit category and click on the save you can see now in the list the category name is edited and that's still the name is there if you're gonna click on the home page automatically category edited edited edit here so it will display on the front page and same we can check the category list here it's done already also when you're going to click on this remove button you can delete the category like this you click on this it's done and now one category is gone <coughs> okay so next thing admin can add a product so <coughs> when admin is going to add the product also when we edit the category at the, death, at the same time the category table is reflected and there's a new category here with the edit category okay so now <clears throat> when we are going to add the product uh, customer or admin have to select the category like in which category is going to 
add the product so here is the list of category this that's completely coming from the database and for example i want to add some data in the kit section so enter the name of demo product i'm going to add one demo product here and the price let's say the price is 600 or the description i'm going to add some description choose an image and let's say i'm going to choose this this image for the kit okay and click on save the product added successfully and now if you want to check the product list the new product in the list but it will display only category of kit section so you can see the new product is there and in other category it will not display because it's category specific okay so the last section here uh, sorry second last section is there product list so when uh, you gonna take the product list it will display all the product also you can perform the same provision some same operation edit the product or you can delete the product from here and <coughs> the next uh, menu we have for the book list so this is the detail of booking product that customer or the customer going to book or buy a product so admin can track all the records okay so this all that's all from the admin side now let's see how can a, uh, as a user uh, can operate the application so for example i'm going to user and i'm gonna, uh, going to buy some products so i just select the product and it will redirect me to login the uh, application so i'm gonna click on the sign up and i can register as a new user or i have an option to log in if i existing user so i'm gonna log in as an existing user so it will save our time and let's navigate to user table and check the other, other user so you can see there is one user is demo one two three and or you can say user123 you can take this one so these are the login id for the user and this is the password user in the red123 is the password for user so i'm going to enter the username and the password and click on the sign in button now the add to cart option is display and when you click on the add to cart the data that complete product is moved into the cart so also you can perform some operation into the cart like if you want to add the quantity or if you want to update the cart so as a update as a two product and click on the update now you can see the price is multiplied by two and the total cost is from four double zero and when i click on the book option and uh, it will redirect to fill me the uh, other details like some common detail that already have uh, in the database will display here but uh, other detail like address or country something you have to enter here so i'm going to enter my country entry um, india and state as mp stick and i'm going to enter the pin code so four, five, five. and enter the email address uh, sorry address and go to the payment link so now <coughs> it, it will redirect me on the payment page and just enter the card number so this is a payment dummy payment gateway or you can say dummy payment page it's not a real-time payment so you can enter some integer number of a valid card like in, 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 in a valid format and cardholder name and the month so the expiry month and the year 2023 say and the three digit CVV number and click on the confirm payment so the product is booked successfully now this user can check history and you can check uh, let's say you just book a product there and the product name is product 6 is there <clears throat> so you just book this product and you can also a customer can check the history and as well as admin can check the history it is login again with admin and check the new entry there so you can see the new sda that gmail is <coughs> from india mp uh, by product so this is the complete feature and functionality of the project so if you want to work on your minor or major project and if you need the source code you can check the description link in that uh, the complete detailed description in the description box also you can buy this product and will provide the email address and phone number 
so your whatsapp number so you can directly ping us also we have remote support uh, so don't worry about the configuration and running the code my team member will connect with you <coughs> once you take the service we'll provide the complete uh, configuration at your machine so in that section uh, my team member will connect with you and is going to configure the complete project at your machine in case you need to understand the thing how the things are working and how the code are working so we have some courses so you can go for the courses or if you want to join the live session for the project development you can also comment to me about that so we have that live session also then that live session will teach you how to uh, <coughs> develop this kind of project for your learning purpose thank you